This is our three-phase separator process here at the Richard College. Uh, right now we've got it up and running. We have about um, 20, 20 liters per minute of water flowing into the vessel and about uh, 4 liters per minute of oil flowing into the vessel. Uh, typically in industry, we would go to uh, 10 to 1 water to oil ratio. Um, so we're a little bit above that. But you can see right now our interface is pretty well right in the middle of the vessel. I'll just bring you over to our DCS right now. I just recently made a step change, uh, bringing it down to 150 millimeters, bringing the interface down. Um, you can see we have everything controlling. Our oil level over here is uh, controlling around, uh, you can see it's dropping off right now because we made that step change. So this whole level is coming down and the, there's a lack of oil right now so we're, we're dropping off. Uh, but it was set for uh, 55 millimeters and the valve shut right now just waiting for more, more oil to spill over. So we made that step change and now we're just waiting for the level to drop here. So uh, we're going to see if everything works out. We were having issues with our uh, guided wave radar, uh, which is this guy right here. Uh, if we have too much emulsion there, it can't pick up the interface and it loses control of the process. So um, with the proper flow into the vessel there, we have the about, uh, what would be about, probably uh, three to one, four to one ratio of water to oil right now. It seems to be controlling quite good. Well, after our step change is done here, we'll, we'll check to see how it did. So you can see we made our step change from 175 millimeters down to 150 right here. And the interface level came down. This is our controller output here. Came down to eventually match the set point. Um, so it appears we have our, our interface level controller tuned up quite well. It takes about at least close to 10 minutes for the, uh, for the loop to stabilize after a set point change. I'll just close this. We'll go back here and have a look um, at the tuning parameters we set this to, just so we have those documented. Uh, we have our gain at 3, our reset at 120 seconds, and our rate set for 15 seconds. It's a pretty slow process, so we're using rate or derivative as well. Uh, also notice here um, our high alarm, our first high alarm rings in at 200 and our low rings in at 100. So we only have 100 millimeters to play here, about four inches of room. Uh, if we go out that outside those limits, if we go too high, our interface probe can't measure the interface. There needs to be a minimum of four inches on top of the water for it to measure properly. And if we go down too low, it'll see the end of the probe, and that tends to mess up. It'll, it'll, our uh, process will shut down on a low level just so we don't have any oil going into our water tank. So, probably one of the slowest loops on our process, out of all of our trainers as well. Got it tuned up, I wanted to document it, take a video. Um, also, I can just go over to our other screen here, just to show what our, um, our ratio that we're blending the oil at right now with the water. We've got our water running at 18 liters per minute, and we've got our oil running at uh, four liters per minute, you can see right there. So, that's the optimum ratio for the way that the, the interface level loop is tuned right now. We could try adjusting this, but I wouldn't recommend adding much more oil than we have, just because it creates too much of an emulsion. Um, and this is pretty realistic of what you'd see in industry. In industry, it'd actually be more like probably only two liters per minute uh, and at the 20 liter per minute water rate, a 10, a 10 to one ratio. So we're, we're actually a little bit high for what industry would normally have. So. Process is up and running. Running fine, I'll just take you around over here so you can see that our feed here is mostly water. It's fairly blue in color, and the yellow is the oil. If you look back here, you can see our uh, water and our oil lines right here. So these are our supply tanks, water and oil. We feed in, mixed with our air, coming in from our blower, blower over here in our uh, mechanical room beside us. Mix, come into the three-phase separator, 
settle out. Well sits on top, water on the bottom. We dump the water off back over to our water tank and the oil spills over this weir here. We've got a level controller up here that is uh, opening and closing our oil valve, which is right down here, and sends the oil back over to the oil tank. So the process seems to be working quite good. We just need to find the right oil and water flow rates into our vessel.